Hey guys, little impromptu video here. Today I'm going to take a look if one of my Quinn LEDs can control a 12 volt fan, like, uh, you know, a fan, or a smaller and bigger fan, but they're all 12 volts. If they can control a 3 pin fan, because it's bad, sorry about that, uh, that's what we're talking about that doesn't have PWM control with one of my Quinn LED modules. So, let's find out. Okay, so let's see here. I have an ESP module prepared. It's just one of my normal Quinn LED modules. Uh, I have a power plug on it, so I can uh, easily connect a 12 volt adapter to it. And on the back end, I modified a fan splitter cable. And I, well, modified, I just cut it off. So I had two wire ends on one end. And still had a female connector for fans on the other end. Making this a bit easier. Okay. And the reason I'm trying to do this is because I want some fans in my patch cabinet, which I would like to be temperature controlled. And if I could use a, uh, well, Domotica controlled temperature controller and a Domotica controlled fan controller, I could automate that in a, you know, cool way. Um, okay, I have my computer set up and I'm just using the command line, uh, well, commands to send the commands to this ESP. So let's connect up the first fan I want to try. This is a pretty high airflow, high RPM one. It's it's a very old one actually, but I'm just using uh, fans I've lying around. So let's uh, connect the power and see what happens. Okay, well it does spin up. That's a good sign. So let me enter a PWM value. And let's start with a PWM value of 500. What the hell? Are you guys hearing that? Let's go to 1023. That's basically no PWM. Okay, now the buzzing goes away. And, well, we just have a very loud fan. I mean, I'm sure you can hear that. <laughs> So let's set it to 200 and see what happens. What is that noise? Is that the motor? Can you hear that? Well, that's my phone, but can you hear the beeping? Let's go back to 500. Hmm. That's uh, interesting. Let me uh, try a different fan. Uh, this is a Fantex fan from uh, a case I re recently bought. Uh, I think it's still at 500, so let's see what happens. Different noise, still a lot of noise. Can you hear that? Oh, well, my connection isn't that great. Interesting. So now we're going to 200. Huh. Okay, so sending PWM to 12 volt to the fan, it works. It spins slower and it spins... This is going back to 500. It spins faster. Let's go to 800. Huh. But it makes all kinds of weird noises. Okay, let's uh, try another fan, I guess. So in theory, this is possible. Uh, this just makes no more noise than the fan makes without it. Okay, this is a fan from the... Uh, oh, this is a 4-pin fan, and my connector thingy is a 3-pin connector. So that's not going to work. Okay. Well, I have a small, what is it, a 40 millimeter fan here. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, this, is a, this fan is moving. That's funny. Let's turn that up to maximum speed, 1,023. <laughs> Look at it go. Anyway, let's go back to 200. Yeah, so let me try and... Can you hear that? You must hear that. So regulating the PWM speed works. Uh, the motors inside these fans just really don't like it, it seems. Okay, well, that was the experiment. Let me try one last fan. It's a Noctua, uh, but I have to reconnect some wires for that, so... I'll do that with video, video magic. Okay, the Noctua NF F12 PWM is connected to the Quinn LED, but as you can see here, I didn't connect the uh, the Teco wire to, through which it can read fan speed because my Quinn LED can't do that. But I also didn't connect the PWM wire. I just connected the plus and minus to 12 volt, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. So let's first start off with 100. There's that noise again. Oh, fan actually starts up with 100. The others didn't. I guess that goes to speak for the quality of Noctua. Uh, 500. Yeah, noise is still there. Oh wow, I can actually feel it. It's probably the electronics in the fan not understanding what's going on. Oh. Um, there we go. Nope. Okay. Let's go to 1023. Yeah, and full speed, it, uh, well, it just works. Back to 100. Yeah. Okay, well, that's clear enough. Um, conclusion time. So, conclusion time. Can you control a 12-volt non-PWM or PWM fan with Quinn LED? Well, yes, in theory, you could. You're just pulsing the 12 volt, so any device behind it will receive pulses of 12 volt. So it should, in theory, work. But in the case of using, uh, you know, computer fans like these, either a PWM model or a non-PWM model, this results in some noises uh, because of the motors resonating with the PWM frequency, which, in my case, is 1000 Hz. So should you use Quinn LED to PWM 12 volt fans? Well, in my opinion, no, because the noise coming from the motor is uh, makes more noise than the fan would do at full power. So <laughs> that's not going to work. Um, yeah, that was the test. Uh, I'm not going to do much else with that. I'm not going to build a Quinn fan or something like that. I just wondered if I could use it as a fan controller, but I guess now we all know why motherboards use either PWM for 4-pin fans, which have a dedicated PWM wire, so that the PWM circuitry is in the fan, and then these noises aren't produced, or it uses DC regulation, by which it lowers the voltage to control the fan, so that it doesn't spin as fast as it would at 12 volt, uh, to prevent noises like this. So. Hope we all learned something, and uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.